OMG, you guys, I'm so excited. I don't know the best way to tell you besides I am gonna be an ant. Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Heather Spears. This is Mickey. He is not always in the video, but he just couldn't help it today, I guess. But anyway, I do stuff. And the reason why I say that for this video is because I did a lot more than make the dress. So if you didn't catch it in the beginning, my family is going through something very exciting, you guys. My sister is having a baby. And this is not only the first time I'm going to be an aunt, but it's the first time I'm ever going to be around a baby and I am so excited. But you know, I could go on about that all day long and I'm sure you clicked on this video for a very different reason. But um, anyway, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you guys the baby announcement and everything we did to kind of put this Christmas baby announcement together. I'm so excited. If you're excited, please give me a thumbs up that I know and let's get started. <laughs> Okay, you guys, now I have Minnie. She she just could not stand the fact that Mickey was in the shop before. Oh, I got them both. Okay, they're both gonna be in the shop. But anyway, before I tell you guys exactly how the shoot went and all of that, let me just tell you a little bit about what went into it. So it was actually kind of a lot that went into the shoot. So anyway, my sister wanted a special Christmas dress, so I did end up making her dress. On top of that, we did some location scouting together and I actually did the photography for this one. Now, by no means am I a professional photographer. I am so far from it, but um, I have so much respect for the professional photographers out there because that is so not me, but I did my best. I'm actually super proud of the way that these turned out and super proud that I got to be such a big part of, such a big part of this. But um, yeah, so I just wanted to get that out of the way before we get to talking about it and I'm gonna try to tell Mickey and Minnie bye here because they're being ultra mega cute and ultra mega distracting. But anyway, let's get started on talking about what went into it. The first steps of starting this shoot was making Sarah's dress. Now I have made this girl hundreds of dresses, but this one had to be extra special. Now it had to be extra special, but it also had to be different than any other dress I've ever made her. So Sarah's body is a little bit different now that she is carrying a baby. Now you cannot tell in these pictures, and you really can't tell that much at all yet, but it is shaped different, which means all of the patterns and everything that I've ever used for her in the past, it flips the whole process completely upside down. This is brand new to me. I've never made maternity clothes before, so it's a learning process. So everything that I've ever done for her is completely out the window. I have to draft everything new and get this dress to be perfect for her and her baby. When I started making her dress, I started making a red satin dress out of a fabric that I absolutely adored. And I got to maybe about an hour out of finishing the dress, and I had her try it on, and we decided that we both actually hated the dress. We did not like this dress. There was so much wrong with it. And the reason why I'm mentioning this is because I'm being super transparent and it's important for any of you who make your own clothes out there or that follow me because you also have a passion for design. Things don't always turn out the way you want them to. And I made the very tough decision after working on this for maybe two to three days. I mean, it was a lot of time to scrap the dress. Now, I didn't throw it away. I plan on reapproaching it at another time, altering it and making use of the fabric. I am very not wasteful, so I'm going to make use of this fabric. But it just wasn't gonna be the dress for the shoot, which um, I, the shoot, was, we had a specific time we needed to hit this thing, so I needed to make another dress and I needed to make it quick and I needed to make something that uh, we both liked, particularly Sarah. <laughs> Sarah's second dress was so much more her and it actually has some sentimental fabric. So this dress is a floor length gown with some pretty cute details on it. The details are kind of these little circles that are sparkly and that stuff, but anyway, if you've been around my channel, you may have seen my video of um, my sister's wedding. Now, I made her wedding dress and all of her bridesmaids dresses, and part of that video that actually didn't make it into the video is I also did some accessories for her bridesmaids. Now, some of the accessories happen to be robes, and the fabric that I'm using here for the second dress of Sarah's baby announcement is actually the same fabric that I used to make her bridesmaids robes. So, 
that is something that makes this particular second dress um, so much more interesting. It has a story and I love that. So being that it is a little sentimental and it does like, it screams Sarah's personal style way more than the first dress. I am in love with this second dress and so is she. So we ended up being so much happier that I restarted and did the second dress and it turned out to be so much better than it would have. Next, it was time to actually do the shoot. Now, like I said before, I am no professional photographer, so it does take me a little time to kind of tweak things and a little time to kind of get a little comfortable behind the camera myself. So when we went to go do the shoot, it does take me a moment to think about the lighting or to adjust some of the settings on the camera. Like I said, I've never taken any classes on this, so I don't really all the way know what I'm doing. I just kind of have to get in there and do a trial and error thing. And that's exactly how this shoot started. I mean, Sarah and Jim, they are naturals in front of the camera. They know how to pose with each other. They are just I mean, what they do, it's just like how I usually see them on a daily basis. So they just jump in front of the camera and they like perfect shot every time. So it takes a lot more tweaking on my end than on theirs. I don't have to pose those two at all. So what we did is we found this beautiful Christmas tree where Sarah and Jim held up their first ultrasound and we took some, you know, themed shots. So once all that tweaking was done on my end, we decided to do a couple creative shots that is just the ultrasound in front of the tree and some of the bulbs and stuff. And I really, really love the way it turned out. I can't believe I was the one behind the camera for this, but anyway, the pictures turned out so cute and I am so proud of them. So coming up with a great Christmas um, baby announcement, it is so fun because you can really go so many different ways with it. You could do a novelty announcement, you could do something personal to you, or you could do something like how Sarah and Jim did, which is, you know, just kind of classy and simple. And the way they did it, I just, I just love the way it turned out because it was so focused on their love and the upcoming baby that, you know, it was kind of undeniable. But I have seen so many ways to go about, you know, a Christmas baby announcement that are all so fun and equally great in, in their own ways. Now, if you have stumbled upon this video because you're looking for a Christmas baby announcement of your own because you're expecting a little one soon, I just want to say congratulations. I know this theme for this might welcome you guys in a little bit, so I just wanted to put that in here also. But anyway, that is it for, you know, showing you guys what we put together for Sarah and Jim's baby announcement. So if you saw anything in this video that you liked, please give me a thumbs up so that I know. And if you'd like to stick around for some, even some more maternity looks or pregnancy, you know, photo shoots and stuff, I plan on bringing those to my channel as well within the coming months while my sister is expecting her baby. So I'm going to be incorporating that kind of thing in with my regular content here too. So if you'd like to stick around for that, or if you like fashion as much as I do, or you just want to hang out again, hit that subscribe button, and you are always welcome to join me. Until next time, guys. Bye!